This is the official Supercoach NRL podcast team list Tuesday with Tom Sangster and Rob Sutherland. If you've been following our early mail or our live team's blog today, you will know that there'll be big changes. There's debutantes, there's positional switches, and we've got a very special guest as well in Brandon Savage from the Supercoach Experience, currently 27th in the rankings. What's your, what's your secret been so far? My secret, I've played this way every single year, and it's yeah. go against the crowd early. Okay. Look at the most traded in players this week and try and think of why you're trading them in. I like to look at the players that I think are going to be the number one traded in next week, and that's what I've been doing. Huge. All right, looking ahead, we're going to look ahead for our teams as well. So many questions are going to be answered in about five minutes or so when the teams drop. James Schiller is probably the biggest one, is the most popular purchase this week. Our mail is that Albert Hoppawati is at least one more week away with the burns that he suffered in a freak accident at a barbecue at Corey Harawira Naira's house. Crazy story behind that, which we won't get into now. But it looks like Schiller will be named. So he Supercoach Plus predicts a price rise of 142k, even if it is just one week. Uh, I think it's worthwhile. That's massive for one week. And if he only gets one week, I'll, from the look of him, he's looked a lot better than Hopoate has in the past. So yeah. I'm banking on him to win that position. So he's definitely in for you? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's in for me as well. The other things we've got coming up, Chevy Stewart, who was a really popular cheapie during the preseason, he will debut with Jordan Rapana out. Tedesco, Dom Young, Tail and May on the bye. Latrell Mitchell, Zach Leibert all out. So it's absolute carnage. You've got any of those guys and you're looking to sell. I don't. <laughs> I've got <laughs> Latrell Mitchell, so um, that allows me to get one of the gun fullbacks, and there's plenty to choose from anyway, so I'm I'm not too mad about that. I think I was going to sell Latrell this week or next week anyway. Also, Joey Manu, very popular this week. The big question that will get answered soon is whether he gets named at 5'8", fullback or centre. It could be all of the, could be any <laughs> of the above. He may even switch positions during the game. He could be replacing Tedesco. He, I mean, he could be anywhere in that team. Is he an option for you this week as a pod? He definitely is, but I don't think I can make it work this week, so I'm very nervous. I really hope he yeah. just stays out in the centres. <laughs> yeah, I do not want to watch that game to be honest when he's taking no. the field I want to close my eyes when he's going out there um, I'm keen to hear a, a smoky pick for you for this week in terms of the teams who's who's the sort of pod that you've got your eyes on for this week maybe not for this week but I think an underrated buy this week is Dallin Watini Zalesniak um, nice. if he gets named again and overcomes that injury getting him in this week allows you to have a look at him and then next week against the St. George Illawarra side who uh, their back line might look a bit different and their right side defence w- yeah. was really bad last year so um, I'm really keen on him I don't know if I'm going to make it work once again but I'm really keen on him yeah I kind of like that the guy that I'm looking at this week if Schiller doesn't get up and I think he probably will but if you w- we are looking for a cheapie for next week I reckon Benjamin Takura from the Broncos is the guy. Now we're hearing there's a bit of a bench shake up at the Broncos uh, that's going to be announced in about two minutes or so yeah. <laughs> uh, with Sailor and Tyson Smoothie both on the bench. So you've got two backs, uh, sorry, two small guys on the bench, one a bench hooker and one um, in Sailor who can basically play every position except for front row. Um, but it's not a big forward bench. Hopefully Takura is still there. But do you think he is a good cheapie for next week? I think he is. I think they need someone like him or Willison on the bench, uh, yeah. just while, at least while Haas is out, and that's still, what, another two or three weeks. So with one of them, I think both of them are going to make pretty good money if they're named. Another guy who's really popular this week is Angus Crichton. Um, he's at that mid-range price. I've been avoiding Roosters back rowers so far this year because we've just had no idea well, who, like who's actually ahead in that race. Mm. But I think it has finally been settled with Crichton playing 80 minutes and starting on the weekend. I would still love to see him play another game and play 80 minutes, but the break even is 26. So you probably have to get on this week. If I can wait another week, I will, but it's um, still quite a tempting purchase. He's very tempting, isn't he? Uh, I think I swore off a lot of Roosters players 
Roosters edge back rowers in particular early on when I had Sil Wong in my side to start yeah. the year. I think that rotation's looked really awkward over the last couple of weeks. So if he plays 80 minutes this week, I think next week he is nearly one of the more safer Roosters back rowers to lock in. Teams are about to drop, um, and I'm just loading them now. We'll look at the Knights first. So, no changes for the Knights. Um, what have we got? We've still got Hastings in the halves. Dylan Lucas is still on the edge, so Frizzle, Tyson Frizzle, mm. Frizzell, rather, is out again. Um, thoughts here, because Ponga is the second most popular purchase. You would, if you're one of those people who sold before round three, you would be seriously regretting it because he's actually worth more now. Mm. Yeah, I'm actually getting in Ponga this week, so yeah, um, he's someone I'm really keen on. Uh, is Marju back? Marju. Marju is on the extended bench, so he's a good chance to come in on the wing, which would probably see Jenkins drop out and Tawala move to the other side. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of the Roosters, big changes there, obviously. What do you want? Manu fullback. Manu fullback. Yep. <laughs> Huge. Oh, man, he's... I reckon that's his best position yeah. for super coach. Yeah, So that makes sure. him really tempting. Yeah, it's going to be a hard watch not being an owner. Connor Watson is the 5'8". Junior Pogger comes on to the wing for Dominic Young, um, who's an obvious sell there as well. Where else have we got? Crichton. Crichton's still there. Crichton's on the edge, yes. Crichton is still starting. So that probably locks him in as a pretty decent purchase this week. Yeah. I think he's a very good purchase. Moving on to the Storm. Uh, just one change. So Tepa Moroa comes onto the bench for Jack Howarth. That means... Joe Chan is not there. He's in Jersey 18, mm -hmm. so not in the 17. Big blow because he was a really popular cheaper to start the year, and we just want some price rises out of him. It hurts, doesn't it? it? You just need that one price rise, and he's an awkward price where you really got to find someone really good to go to, to to get rid of him. But let's just hope for one more game from him. And job security is not looking good good either because they've got Nelson Asafa Solomona named in the 22. Uh, he got cleared at the judiciary over the weekend for a whole bunch of things in the in the reserve grade game. But he could put Joe Chan's spot under threat as well. So maybe Chan might be second or even third in line even if there is an injury now. Mm, I'm very worried. Uh, Sean Bloor looked good last week too. Yeah. On to the Doggies. Expecting big changes for them. Crichton shifts to fullback in place of Blake Taff, who's out with that concussion. Josh Adokar's back into that team. Supercoach-wise, Curran has been named on the edge again, but he, he switched to the bench on game day. Of course, Curran has earned dual status, which is causing a little bit of consternation in Supercoach land, but he's also very popular this week after earning that dual status. Do you reckon he's worth a punt this week? I think in the front row, he's a, whether he comes off the bench or plays second row, the front row position has been really bad this year, so uh, to be able to plug him in is gold. Yep, I've got him in already, but I think he'd be a decent purchase this week as well. Mm -hmm. At the Broncos, again, we're expecting big changes for them. And as I mentioned before, we've got Tyson Smoothie and Tristan Saylor. So two small blokes, both named on the interchange bench. That means that Benjamin Takura, who I just pumped up as <laughs> one of the best cheapies, has dropped to 19th man. So he's no longer a cheapy option. Um... Reynolds is definitely out, so Jock Madden comes in. Reese Walsh is definitely back. What's your read on Walsh this year? He, I really wasn't expecting him to come out and play as well as he did in the first few rounds, so uh, maybe that facial injury will take him a game or two to get used to, but yeah, I think he's going to go in for a hot run. Dean Marin is out for a couple of weeks with a back injury, so Corey Oates is the new winger. Um, and Xavier Willison still, I mean, would you be getting on him as a buyer right now? This week's a week to do it, isn't it? He is 265k, uh, and he's, I'll check his break even, but it, so it'll go, be his third game. Yeah, Liam Henry or Sam Hughes or yeah, someone like that to that's him a good trade. could be working this week. At the Dolphins, 
Anthony Milford is back. Yes, he's going to be the bench utility this week, which is huge. Um, what else we got? Flegler's name to play despite that injury last week, which is pretty big news. Herbie Farnworth is out. Felice Kafusi out as well. Uh, not a huge amount of super coach relevance going on here so we'll move on to the Warriors who are extremely relevant we got Sean Johnson very popular this week what's your take on Johnson as a buy yeah I've got him you've got I've him, got him. I'm very happy with him um, playing manly this week though so not expecting the big score we got from him last week but I'm very happy he looks good goal kicking again so um, I wouldn't do it this week if you're a Cleary owner because Cleary comes back yep. next week uh, I think last week or the week before was the week to do it. Yeah, I'm waiting for Cleary next week, so I won't be going SJ. But but I also yeah. think he can rival Hines and Cleary over the next couple of weeks because his draw opens up massively. RTS back to centre with... Um, who's back into that team? DWZ's back into that team, so RTS back to centre. Um, and Tamari Martin, very popular. 5'8 is a... It's a really red hot position this year for cheapies because you've got guys like Galvin doing well. Um, Jai Gray, who's going to debut, we'll get to him in a sec. Mm -hmm. He's in that position. Oh, do we know that? <laughs> well, we, we assume that he is there. We haven't got that far yet. You've got Flanagan, who's doing pretty well too. Yeah. So, can you fit in tomorrow, Martin? I can't, but can you? No, no. I've got no. Dylan Brown. Could sell him, but... Yeah, uh, but then I'd be running two cheapies, yeah. essentially, at 5'8", which I don't want to yeah, do. Yeah, neither. Uh, the Manly Seagulls, Garrick's out, we believe. Yep, he's out, so Tommy Talao is the new winger. Ben Trebojevic to centre. I actually like that. Yeah, me too. It increases... It means he'll play 80 minutes and probably increases his chances of tries. Yeah, for, for sure. I think... As an as an owner, he is someone you could probably nearly play this week. Yeah, I'm definitely tempted. Definitely <laughs> tempted. He just needs one or two. Yeah. Like he just needs another try. Get that big score. Get that big price rise, and then he's probably out of my mm -hmm. team after that. Although the dual position is just yeah, really it's good as been well. Been so good, hasn't it? At the Eels, so mass axings here. We've got Siva, as we predicted on our live team blog, which I assume everyone has been following. Sivo axed um, Blaze Talangi, who is the most popular purchase last week shifts to the se oh no he's no, not even he, there he's in number 19 he's not even oh wow <laughs> oh, that's God. huge that is massive so last week's most popular purchase has been dropped we've got Dejan Arce in at the 5-8 and they've just they've got Will Pettersini and Morgan Harper in as the centres so that is a massive blow oh, maybe a late change Let's hope. You know what it also means? That Blaze Talangi, who if he played one more game at 5'8", would have got dual position. It means he'll no longer get dual position as well. If this continues. But he just needs to play one more game there before round 12 to mm. get that dual positioning. Moving on to the Cowboys. We've got Zach Labard out for the season, uh, which is a massive blow for him because he was a really popular super coach purchase. That means... Philly Army Tom Chester Tom Chester not mm -hmm. Philly Army Fate Leah yep <laughs> comes in at centre so another super coach blow there yep uh, and What's he's Chester? available at fullback only at 350k yeah. so it's we, yeah. sorry you go yeah it's not it, good <laughs> he's a guy we looked at for dual positioning um, and he's played I can't remember off the top of my head but he, I don't, he hasn't played fullback at all but he's played centre wing once and bench once I think so far this year so he could this year so he could be a guy that could get dual position in round 12 um, but you know he's a, if you're looking at a cheapie now you probably want him out of your team by yeah. round 12 on to the Rabbitohs and hopefully our man Jai Gray has been named a fullback and he has which is big news Tyrone Munro is also in on the bench <gasps> Damian Cook dropped Damian what? Cook dropped oh, we, knew that we thought that he'd go to the bench and this was mentioned out in the office just before we came in dropped altogether not even in the 17. Oh, my that God. Is huge news. Not so much for Supercoach, but certainly for the Rabbitohs. They're looking for answers big time. Oh, I don't love that at all. 
Poor Cookie. I think he's been well. Gone well. Does this mean that Marmozellos? What's he? Yeah, Marmozellos is at, starting. He's at 240k. So this could be big for him. If you're looking to sell someone like Danny Levi in he two weeks' time. The starting spot though, surely. He doesn't keep uh, it over Cook. Uh, is it just a rev up for the entire team and surely. for Cook? Plus they got Havili on the bench too, who presumably plays a little bit of hooker at least. But in any case, that is a big shake up there at the Rabbitohs. Munro back too. Yeah. Yep, I like that. Um, we were hoping Kyle Iro retains his spot at the Sharkies, and he has. Yep. So not for this week, um, but for next week, he could be a real option. The so thing is, you go, sorry. I think He's, this is one of my, um, the secret I spilled earlier. Yeah. Not waiting a week on a player, and uh, the Bunnies have been a team that have leaked massive super coach points to players mm. I think the pod play would be to go Kale Iro this week this week and play him in year 17 so at least for now I'm just worried that he, Talakai yes. comes yeah. in on game day and Iro's not there um, and it depends when you need to make this trade because they're playing pretty late in the week it's yeah. the, the late game on the Saturday so that's they are my reservations but Kyle Iro was awesome in his first game yep. of the year he's going to be the most purchased player next week if this continues um, job security looks okay with Talakai on the bench so uh, at, at, right now it looks like Iro has won that spot yeah there's Hamlin ULA on the bench and Toby Rudolph on the extended bench as well so Potentially they come in and Ira is the guy who come, moves out for Talakai. But. Uh, and the, the big mover here, like the guy who this all hinges on is Britton Nakora, who's back from injury, yeah. uh, suspension, or injury, whatever it was. Um, and Ira's retained his spot. So, yeah. uh, look, it's looking good for now, but I really want to see it one hour before kickoff, yeah, before I actually too. move on this one. Rabbitohs, um, so Jai Gray's definitely there. Um, where are we? Sharkies. West, sorry, West Tigers. Bateman is definitely out. So Safarth goes into the starting side. Samuel Afano, who got dual positioning uh, on Monday, is definitely out. And Latu Fano is out as well. So some pretty big changes there. Um, not particularly super coach relevant, I would say. Lockie Galvin's back next week. Which yes. Is big. Very At nice. the Dragons, they've got Hame Sele back from injury. Um, what else have we got? Eisenhuth. Zach Lomax at fullback. Zach Lomax is on the so wing. So he has been named on the wing. Right. Jack Bird's been named and he's under an injury cloud. So there could be a massive reshuffle there. Um, yeah. Lomax fullback potentially. So Lomax played the second half at fullback and the quotes from the coach were pretty damning of Tyrrell Sloan. He basically said... It's a tough game. Terrell Sloan didn't play tough and he needs to learn to put his head where people's boots are, yeah. is the exact quote. It doesn't look good for Sloan playing fullback this week, to be honest. And it's a decent... I mean, Lomax has been on fire and it's a pretty good matchup up against the West Tigers as yeah, well. Yeah, for sure. Moving on to the Raiders. We're expecting Chevy Stewart to debut there, which has come through. James Schiller is there. Huge. So... The number one buy, number one cheapy in Supercoach this week is there. We're both locking him in, and a lot of Supercoaches are as well. Um, anything else? Hosking is back from these HIA. Horsburgh's out too. Yeah, so he had some sort of injury, I believe. Abdominal injury, yep. um, which is good for Morgan Smithies. Oh, no, sorry, Corey Horsburgh groin. And that the Titans, Kieran Foran, named a play despite that anchor in injury. Um, not a great deal of super coach relevance here, except one guy who I've really got on my radar, David Fafita. Mm, David Fafita. Looks good, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, he looks decent. Played from the bench in his first game back. Still did pretty well super coach wise in limited minutes, and then got the full 80 on the weekend. So it looks like he will come down in price, pretty big BE, but for next week or the week after. The issue is I've got to get want to get Nathan Cleary back next <laughs> week, and I also want Fafita. I'm also going to want Kyle Iroh potentially. It's going to yeah. be a big week of trading. He's the type of guy that if you get him in early, you'll get rewarded. 
So yep. what would he score? 80 points on the weekend with no no tries or try assists. Yep. Yeah, I think he's got to be on your radar. Hopefully no origin again this year would mm. be ideal for Supercoach perspective. Finally, the Panthers are on the bye. So I'll put this question to you. Taylor May, very popular sell. Does he have to go this week? He doesn't have to go, but I understand if you're generating cash by going to a Schiller or an Ira. Yeah. Um, I think that's a nice way to do it. And if Taylor May comes out and it looks like he's going to have a big game and going to have a small break even the week after, I think you can go back to him. It's not the end of the world. Look, I've got Taylor May and I'm sticking with him just because he's a... The reason we got him in the first place is because he's a big work rate centre winger at a really, really good attacking team. Uh, I know the ball is basically never getting past Jerome Luo right now, which is bad news for Taylor May. I still think he's going to come good at some stage. Yeah. So I'm hanging on and hoping they got the bye this week, but I still think he'll be a really a, a really good Supercoach contributor going forward. Yeah, I agree. Nathan Cleary is back next week for them as well. But um, that was pretty hectic team stay. Big thanks to Brandon Savage, 27th ranked super coach. We'll catch you on Thursday for the game day podcast. We'll see you then.